$30 million in tax dollars is geared toward uplifting and growing West Louisville. However, Urban League President Sadiqa Reynolds says she's concerned about the process. She notes that projects like this one have historically made way for gentrification. If Louisville gets this right, we'll really be the first city in the country. I mean, you just don't see these kinds of investments happen, big investments like this without displacement. Days after stepping down along with Urban League Director of Investment, Christina Shadle, Sadiqa Reynolds sounds off about the flaws in a potential generational game changer for West Louisville, the tax increment financing also known as TIF. But when you are talking about something as big and important as a TIF, something that could change the face of this community, when you think about that, you, you have to I think start with transparency. That has to be most important. It is that lack of transparency that initially had West Louisville residents confused and concerned because they didn't quite understand how this multi-million dollar investment would affect them. Well, they weren't the only ones confused. Reynolds recalled state lawmakers Morgan McGarvey and Julie Rocky Adams initially telling her about the investment and her seat on the board. I asked questions then about rent, um, how we would take care of people who were renters. They talked about having something in the legislation that would protect homeowners. We again talked about renters, and they said that a, a lot of those things had not come up as they were um, you know, attempting to move the legislation through and that this was a big deal, it was unprecedented, and blah, blah, blah. That all sounded like lip service to residents we spoke to about the project two months ago. Their primary concern, aside from its effects on where they live, is why local leaders haven't included them in drafting the legislation or even educating them about what it all means. My sense is that there are some things that are being rushed that we really need to make sure we take time for. Um, for one thing, you do have to hear community voice. It doesn't matter if we agree or disagree. You have to. Stefan Dingle, WLKY News.